welcome to another Wind Farmer educational video. In this video we're going to take a very brief look at the basic steps needed to create an offshore wind farm. I won't go into too much detail, I just want to show you the general workflow and to highlight a few of Wind Farmer's unique features along the way. So the plan is to create a wind farm comprised of 96 6 megawatt turbines some 10 to 12 kilometers off the UK's southwest coast. I downloaded this satellite map of the location using WindFarmer's online data importer tool. If I now open WindFarmer's turbine import assistant, I can quickly load the coordinates of my 96 proposed turbines, and I can select the turbine type I want to use. Once that's done, I can generate both a boundary file or .wob to contain the turbines, as well as a turbine location file, a .wot. I just click on the relevant buttons at the top and save the file somewhere convenient, in this case my desktop. Then it's just a case of dragging or loading each of the files into the workspace. First the boundary, and then the turbines. I'll now add a MET mast and by right clicking on it I can access the Wind Studio where I can input my wind data. I have a wind speed frequency distribution for this mast and it's in the form of a tab file which I'll load in now. Notice that the Wind Studio is requesting turbulence intensity details. Uh, turbulence intensity, or TI, has uh, an important effect on the wakes caused by the turbines and on the overall array efficiency. I'll accept a default value of 10% for now and add the actual information in a moment. The next step is to instruct WindFarmer to use the association method, which, among other things, is a key feature for reducing Weibull errors that may be introduced during the windflow modeling process. So, there are a number of ways to generate your wind resource information for each of the turbines, but I'll show you the simplest method. I've got WASP selected as my wind flow modeling tool, and all I need to do is to click on the Auto Setup button up here. This will instruct WASP to create the necessary additional files prior to running the flow model. I'll speed up the video a little here while some calculations are performed. On my laptop, this took about 30 seconds. Now the setup is complete, I can exit the Wind Studio using the OK button. To add the TI details, I'll open the Project Properties window and go to the Turbulence Intensity section. I can manually enter various different types of turbulence intensity, uh, either a global value or as a function of wind speed or direction or both. Here you can see the default 10% turbulence intensity that WindFarmer suggested in the absence of any other input. But I've created a file from the recorded wind data at the mast, which I'll load instead. Most loggers record the information you need for this, along with the wind speed measurements, and the file is easily created using WindFarmer's MCP Plus module. I'll now open the control panel and select the wake model to use. I can choose either the Park model or the more accurate CFD-based Eddy Viscosity Wake model. In addition, I've selected the Large Wind Farm Correction, as you can see here. This is an additional model designed for big wind farms like this one, and it's given some really good results when compared with actual operational wind farms. That's everything set up. I now just need to run an energy test, and this will generate my net energy yield. Again, I'll speed up the video here. On my laptop, this calculation took about two and a half minutes. So, here are the test results. At the top is the gross energy yield, followed by some typical losses that I also entered for the project. And down here is my central estimate of the net yield. I could now go on to ask WindFarmer to calculate my P90 or my P95 value, but I'll save the details for another video. So, if I select Generate Report, then the report generator will open and from here I can either build a customized report from the various results listed in the left hand window or I can select a template from the various options below. And here's an example of a finished report, in this case exported to Word. 
And lastly, for presentation purposes, I'll export my finished wind farm into Google Earth, where I can create a nice animated visualization. And that's it. Simple, straightforward, fast and reliable. If you'd like more details on some of these unique features I mentioned, then please just send us an email and we'll be happy to give you further information. You can also download a free demo of WindFarmer from our website, along with some tutorials and some sample data to get you started. So thanks for watching and goodbye.